The director of the American Institute in Taiwan will soon conclude her three-year term. In our fourth and final press conference since taking office in July 2021, Sandra Octor reflected on major achievements in U.S.-Taiwan relations. Over the course of the last three years as AIT director, I have been focused on four primary objectives. These are supporting Taiwan's self-defense capabilities, promoting global supply chain resilience, supporting efforts to preserve and expand Taiwan's international space, and deepening our already excellent economic and people-to-people -people ties. Taiwan is, of course, a leader in advanced manufacturing, high-tech high -tech and electronics. So as the you know, defense industries of today and the future become more and more high-tech, I think there is obviously a role for Taiwan. Um, either as a component supplier or, or whatever, there are a variety of different requirements that Taiwan companies would have to meet if they wanted to sort of feed into the U.S. defense industrial base and the defense supply chain in the U.S. As Taiwan often emerges as a focal point of potential conflict, Director Octor advised her successor Raymond Green on continue to strengthen the ties with Taiwan. My advice to my successor, who is very familiar with Taiwan, he's worked here a number of times, this is a job that is interesting, impactful, significant. It is one of the most exciting and important jobs in the U.S. diplomatic service. Um, I hope that he has the same sort of positive experience here that I did. I'm sure he will. In the United States, unlike on almost any other issue of foreign policy or domestic policy, there is a broad-based bipartisan consensus on policy towards Taiwan. So I do not think an election would necessarily change that. With the new election the government took office just a month ago, Taiwan is facing opportunities and challenges in maintaining a strategic balance between the world's two largest economies. This is Isabel Wan in Taipei for TVBS World Taiwan.